Hey everyone, Anna Ravenwood here and um, just wanted to have the chance to explain a little bit about what Hawthorne Grove actually is because I set up the name some years ago now um, I have a little website for it um, and I have my YouTube and I have a video channel and I have a Facebook and an Instagram and although uh, it's obvious that it's kind of an earth-based theme um, to Hawthorne Grove. It's no one really understands quite where I'm coming from. Um, but basically, uh, a few years ago, I I got into um, druidry and um, found that the stuff that I was learning um, was really it really meant something. You know, it, it really kind of resonated with me. Um, I felt comfortable about um, the, 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 the whole package, the whole idea of it. And, um, but the, there were aspects of Druidry that I weren't quite so comfortable with. I'd read up um, some time ago about hedge witchcraft and being a solitary, that kind of resonated with me too. Um, and some of the practices and some of the some of the rituals and the spells and the um, energy work and stuff like that uh, that really hit home for me that really um, you know uh, lit a lit a candle um, uh, but also shamanism um, the journeying aspect of, of shamanism and, and the, the way it fuses with the, the whole Celtic thing so I'm kind of taking bits and pieces of, of, um, of those three kind of spiritualities um, and fusing them into into something. I read a book called The Hedge Witch's Way by Ray Beth um, which was very inspirational to me. She used the term in there Wildwood Mystic and I was like yeah. <laughs> I have a Wildwood altar. Um, I do what Bob with mystics do if that was what they did according to Ray Beth um, so yeah that's uh, Wild with mysticism that's me I, I'm, I'm blessed to uh, where I grew up um, there was a there's a there's an ancient forest which is now owned by the Forestry Commission um, and they've put parts in and they've put a cafe in and they've got things for the kids to do but I remember the forest before it was really kind of, um, you know, publicised. Uh, as a kid I used to go there and play with my brother and stuff and um, there are plenty of places, the forest is big enough, uh, there are plenty of places to just sneak off and, um, and be quite, um, quite alone, quite private, without, you know, you're off the, far enough off the beaten track to get people wandering about. Um, and I think it was t 2005, uh, if I remember right, I took one of those off the beaten track trips to the forest and came across this small group of trees right on the very edge of the forest. Um, and I've been going back to them ever since, um, since I, 11 years or so. Um, and I've learned a lot in that space. You know, I, the trees teach me things, the, the, the forest creatures, the energies there teach me things. Um, it's healing. Uh, I get so much out of it and I always leave the space with a spring in my step. Um, it, it's almost like going in to recharge your batteries and you're coming back out again. Um, over the years I've got to know the space even more watched things, seen deer there, seen badger there, seen pheasants and all sorts of bits and pieces. Um, and I realised that the oak that I particularly choose to sit with has a hawthorn on one side of him and an ash on the other. And when you're lying down on the floor looking up at the canopy you've got thorn, ash and oak. It's, it's wonderful. It's brilliant. Um, so Hawthorne Grove, A because Hawthorne is um, a, a tree that I'm particularly fond of. I love Hawthorne, everything to do with Hawthorne is just my favourite tree. 
um, and the Grove because I've been fortunate enough to have this Grove to visit for, 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 for a long time now. Um, so that's kind of where the name came from. And what I'm about basically is, 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 is what I've said, is fusing some nature-based spiritualities together and forging a, a solitary path but one that is deeply connected to tree magic in particular and to uh, nature and to listening and to being silent and to earthing and grounding um, you know some some uh, barefoot walking some sky clad rituals anything to do with getting as close to nature as you possibly can and, and picking up those vibes, picking up those energies. Um, if there's any one of you out there that hears this um, and goes, oh yeah, um, I have a little bit of a website, as I say, it's a free, little free one, um, www.hawthorngrove.moonfruit.com. Uh, I'm on Facebook, uh, Hawthorn Grove. Uh, Instagram, Hawthorne Grove, and um, yeah, so drop in and um, and come and see me. If I'm any good at uploading this video, and if it turns out alright, I'm going to try and put some links on. So it's my first kind of chatty video, just trying to explain a little bit about what Hawthorne Grove is. And um, as I say, put some comments in for us, let me know what you think, say hi, um, I'll try and reply to everybody, and uh, yeah. Till the next time, blessed be.